Hi, welcome to this video. I'm Ali from Dinsa. In this video, you are going to know how to adjust your IP phone to the IPBBX. As you can see here, the two IP phones are connected to the IPBBX in the local network. So, there are three things you can know. The first one is how to set up IPBBX. The second one is how to set up IP phone. And at last, you can know the most common causes of registration failures. Okay, let's configure it step by step. First, you need to log in your IPBBX or SIP server. Then go to the extension page. And then click New to create a new extension. And enter the extension name and password. Here, we do not recommend changing this password to something easier, as this allows hackers to easily access your extension. If your extension is compromised, please update this password right away and make it very complex. OK, the second step is set up your IP phone. First, you need to log in your IP phone, and then go to the account and the basic. Here is the SIP account information you can configure. First, you need to make your SIP account is active. And then you need to enter this pin name, username, and the password of the SIP account. And then you need to enter the IP address and the port of the SIP server here. After that, please remember to click Submit. According to the above steps, here we register two IP phones to the IPBBX 201 and 202 and here you can check the status here go to the status and zip you can check it we just introduced how to register the IPFM to the IPBBX in this part you will know the most common causes of registration failures and the best practices for troubleshooting and resolving them. There are two main categories of failures that affect IP phone registration. The first is incorrect configuration of parameters on the SIP server and the IP phone. The second is the problems on the network. For incorrect configuration parameters, there are three situations. The first is, if all IP phones are failing, you need to check the configuration and the status of the SIP server. And if only a single IP firm is failing, you need to check the configuration on the firm itself. And the third is, in both cases, you need to check the transport protocol, UDP or TCP, and the ports configured on both the SIP server and the IP firm. If both the IP firm and the IPVX are configured correctly, but still fail to register. Then, the failure may be the network issues. For example, the IP address of the IP phone is banned by the SIP server. First, you need to go to the status and fail to ban, and check the status of IP phone's IP address. Here you can see the action is banned. If the IP address is being banned, then go to the network and fail to ban. Add IP phone's IP address in the whitelist. Then click Save and apply it. OK, in this video, we introduce how to register your IP phone to the IPMX and some common causes of the registration features and the best practices for troubleshooting. If you have any questions about configuration, please let us know. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave us a comment below or contact our technical guide if you have any questions. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.